Marvin Gaye, born April 2nd, 1939, was a soul legend who used his sex symbol status to spread messages of peace and love through his music. Marvin Gaye died a brutal death at the hands of his own father, shot at point-blank range in the bedroom of their Los Angeles home on April 1st, 1984. It was a tragic finality to a terrible relationship between the singer and his cross-dressing minister father, Marvin Sr., who frequently beat his son, starved his children, and abused his wife. Marvin Sr. was a preacher for a Pentecostal church in Washington, D.C. He was a strict House of God Christian sect, which banned sleeveless dresses, open-toed shoes, makeup, films, and TV. When he married 20-year-old Alberta Cooper in 1935, she was already a mom. But refusing to bring up another man's child, he forced her to send baby Michael to live with her sister. The couple went on to have four children together, with Marvin Jr. the second to be born in 1939. The animosity towards his oldest son began way before he was even born. Alberta said that her husband never wanted Marvin, and he never liked him. He used to say that he didn't think he was really his son, and she would tell him, oh, that's nonsense. He knew Marvin was his, but for some reason, he didn't love Marvin, and what's worse, he didn't want Alberta to love him either. Marvin wasn't very old before he finally understood how his father felt. Despite his rigid religious beliefs, Marvin Sr. was an excessive drinker, womanizer who had countless extramarital affairs and fathered a child with another woman behind Alberta's back. He also loved wearing women's clothes and women's shoes. But it was the violent outbursts and brutality towards his children that had the most profound effect on Marvin. The four children were forced to quote Bible verses at will and would be severely beaten if they got them wrong. And Marvin, he took the brunt and his share of the abuse. Marvin's sister said that from the age of seven through his teens, Marvin's life was a series of brutal beatings. He also withheld food from the children, claiming their hunger would bring them closer to God. Marvin Jr.'s closeness to his mother infuriated his father, who would punish Alberta for giving any attention to her son, and accused, he even accused the pair of having an incestuous relationship. If it wasn't for Mother, who was always there to console me and praise me for my singing, I think I would have been one of those child suicides you read about in the papers, Marvin said. At 17, Marvin ran away from home and joined the U.S. Air Force, but after a few months, he faked mental illness to get discharged. On his return to Washington, he joined a vocal group and began getting work as a backup singer. And then at the same time, he had an E at the end of his original surname, Gay, to shut down his speculation about his sexuality and to distance himself from his abusive father. Over the next few years, Marvin had number one solos, including Ain't That Particular, and a string of his duets included, such as Ain't No Mountain High Enough and You're All I'll Need to Get By. Then a marriage to Anna Gordy, sister of Motown founder Barry, which pretty much cemented Marvin's record uh, label in 1963. Friends commented that the 35-year-old was 11 years his senior, reminded him of his mother, but Marvin was soon indulging in affairs with much younger women. When her 16-year-old niece, Denise Gordy, fell pregnant, Anna faked a pregnancy and the couple adopted her son, Marvin III, to avoid any scandal. But there was a lot of suspects out there sus uh, suspected that Marvin was the father of this young man. However, his affair with another teenager, 17-year-old Janice Hunter, ended his marriage in 1973. Four years later, he wed Janice. As Gay's fame grew, so did his 
dependency on drugs and his increasingly erratic behavior. On one occasion, while high on coke, he told Janice to join in a threesome with another couple while he watched, then cruelly taunted her afterwards, calling her an animal in heat. She also claimed that after she had two children, Nana and Frankie, he complained about her stretch marks and sagging breasts, even though she was only 22. The marriage ended after two years when his abuse turned physical. She said she could remember the night that he took a kitchen knife and put it to her throat. She said she was petrified and paralyzed. I thought it was over. Marvin told her, I love you too much. This love is killing me. I beg you to provoke me. Provoke me right now so I can take us both out of our misery. But shortly afterward, he tried to kill himself by swallowing almost 30 grams of pure cocaine while on a binge in Hawaii. Now, even though he was more dependent on his drugs, Marvin E. was heavily in debt, owing $3 million in U.S. taxes, $425,000 to Anna Gordy as part of their divorce settlement, and he was reduced to living in an old bread delivery van. But the singer fled to Belgium as a tax exile and managed to kick his cocaine habit before before releasing the 1982 comeback, Sexual Healing, then returning to the U.S. a year later for a triumphant tour. But his whole coming reignited his love affair with drugs, and after buying his parents a mansion in Los Angeles, he moved in to battle his addiction. He was also increasingly paranoid, hiring bodyguards, wearing a bulletproof vest on stage, while telling his siblings, I'm going to die. I'll be poisoned or shot dead. Ironically, it was a relationship with his father, which is what ended his life. Living under the same roof, the pair was so volatile that his sister moved out to escape the ro rows of the arguing. Marvin was depressed and suicidal, attempting to kill himself at least once. On the night of April 1st, 1984, Marvin Sr. flew into a rage in Alberta over some lost insurance papers. And Marvin, who was shielding his mother in his bedroom, lashed out, punching and kicking his father. A few moments later, Marvin Sr. calmly walked back into the bedroom, holding a 38 revolver, a Christmas gift from Marvin, and shot him twice in the chest. Alberta said, my husband didn't say anything. He just pointed the gun at Marvin. She said, I screamed, but it was very quick. My husband shot and Marvin screamed. I tried to run. Marvin slid down the floor after the first shot. The singer was pronounced dead at the hospital less than an hour later. His brother Frankie, who lived next door, was holding him as he died and claimed his last words were, I got what I wanted. I couldn't do it myself so I made him do it.